hey guys welcome to my channel if you have come to this channel then you obviously see that um or rather you are having a problem with your print then cut you're receiving this error that i have received right here so i'm going to show you one way that i have learned to do it and it seems to be working um if you like what you see on this channel and you would like to see more please click that like button and, sub and subscribe please so let me give you just a little background so i was trying to um do this particular picture i'm making a fan for a particular um client however my cricket was giving me this error and y'all it has been so frustrating so i called cricket and tried to like get them to help me and the poor girl she really 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 tried to help me but um yeah her her advice and what she had me doing just didn't work she had me calibrating the cricket all over again and like i kept telling her there was nothing wrong with the calibration of the cricket there was nothing wrong with the paper that i was using because it had previously cut that paper so i had been using that paper before and it cut it no problem so it's just been a frustrating process so but what i did do i looked on to youtube on this one girl's video and she done two things one thing was she um took some mate scott tape and she put it over these little cricket lines right here i mean the sensor lines and i tried it and it didn't work for me it didn't work for her either but you know so i said okay let me try it and see if it'll work for me and it did not work so okay then she cut out these lines from a previous uh well from another paper that she had like a mate paper and she put it on her gloss paper over the lines on the gloss paper and that seems to work for her but y'all that's just too much god didn't gonna work for me so what i done was i try another method and so since you're seeing this error right here i want you to go ahead and i'm gonna do it. i'm gonna run it again so you can see that this error will come up and then after that i'll show you how i done it and how it's been working for me ever since okay so let's just run this back through okay as you can see it's loaded on the mat And it's going to um, attempt to try to cut it or whatever. And like this is the same one. I didn't move it off the mat or anything like that. Y'all, I'm sorry. I got hair on and I'm trying to take my hair down too <laughs> as I'm doing this video. So excuse me that my uh, mat got hair on and I didn't get to get it all off. I had dropped it in the freaking hair. Oh my God. But anyway, yeah, I can be clumsy sometimes, but I'll eventually get that off. But it's, it doesn't affect how the machine works or anything like that. Um, but I'll clean that off. Um, but for the sake of the video, I'll just, you know, let it stay on there. But I want y'all to see how this thing is not going to cut this image out. It's on um, HP paper. And I also have it on another kind of paper as well because I ran out of my other paper. And it cut there, but then it stopped cutting that paper as well. It's a gloss paper. But this particular HP paper is not even a gloss paper. So, um, I wasn't understanding really why it wasn't cutting or why I was saying that it couldn't read the sensor lines. But... Um, as you can see it's taking a while so when you see it taking a while like these guys that means it's just not about to cut because look how far outside of the rim it is yeah it's not gonna cut so you see the light is blinking not cutting look at there not cutting so what we're gonna do is we're gonna release it and then I have right here just a regular Dollar Tree dry erase marker right so and what i'm going to do is y'all i'm sorry i'm working with one hand um right now i didn't really set this thing up set my video up right or to be able to do my um use my tripod i was trying to hear you get through with it so i'm sorry if you focus this out i'm so sorry for that um okay there we go so what i do is what i found is i take this marker right this dry erase marker i showed y'all and do the lines that's all we're doing i'm trying to look around the phone too y'all please forgive me i promise i'll get better at this but you just trace the line of your um your sensor line that's how you do them I hope my music isn't bothering y'all. I like to work to music. 
It's on my girl Anne Marie channel right now. Anne Marie be popping to me. Both her music. Uh, let's see. Just tracing the lines. And as I have um seen so far, it doesn't matter that the lines are a little squiggly. Just so long as you, you know, you trace over the actual sensor line. Okay. All right, that's done. So, uh oh, -uh. put my marker back. Close it up. Definitely don't want it to dry out. I'm gonna try to load this, y'all, with one hand. Fix it, Lord. See your wheel. Okay, and so we got it loaded. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna cut it. And guys, if it does like it done a while ago or just a minute ago, when I talk so far, like I got good sense, um, it's going to cut the line. So I'm just gonna leave it on here and let you guys see. Um, it may take a little minute, and then if it don't cut, I'll show you what else I had to do because one of mine didn't cut. But it was because of, like, I had the line too light on there. But once I darkened the line up, it actually did cut. So, let's just see. It's already taking too long for my liking. But, hopefully, it'll come on and do it on the first try. And we won't have to keep trying to redo it. Especially with me only having this one hand, one holding the phone, and one doing the, um, showing you how to do it. And y'all, I'm sorry that I'm talking too much. And see how it's doing? It's, this is taking too long for me. But, boom. Boom. You see that? It's going to cut. <laughs> so, as you can see, guys, we don't have to go through all of that trouble of trying to put tape over the lines, trying to cut something else um, to go over the lines because it literally is cutting. All I had to do was darken the lines so that the sensor would be able to um, read the sensor marks on the paper. Which, like I said, this is HP paper, but I'm assuming that the gloss coming from the paper was too much for the light. Um, for it to be able to read the sensor marks so and then it did not or it does not let me pull it off try to be careful you know when you pulling stuff off a of, um mat you have to be careful but um it did not mess with any of the calibrations of the paper because i had the paper position good yeah my mat's so nasty i'm so sorry like i said i dropped it on the freaking floor while i'm trying to take my hair down so um charge it to my heart and i mean you know don't don't charge it you know what i'm trying to say shoot <laughs> but just um overlook that but as you see very clean cut no issues whatsoever and that worked so i hope this really helps you guys um by using the marker i'll show you the marker again like i said simple dry erase marker i got this from the dollar tree up of what about a four or five pack for a dollar um and it worked for me so i hope that helps you guys out with um your print then cut error um and if you would like me to upload more content um check out my tiktok page santana denise um i decorate i do all kinds of arts and crafts so yeah have a blessed blessed day and i hope that you guys um go out and do amazing amazing things again thank you so much for tuning in and i really hope that this video helps you guys all right have a good day goodbye